Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and welcome back to more of Let's Play RimWorld. We're still in hoo-ha! <laughs> uh, last time we repelled a rather nasty uh, raid that could have ended us. And, well, uh, actually partly disarmed the game train. He lost his left arm in the uh, attack. Okay, that, that was my fault. I admit that. And that was more me panicking. But in the end, it did kind of work out. So, uh, in the middle of, uh, well, towards the end of that episode, we did get his arm made. But also, I noticed just as I ended the episode that we had a severe illness. I haven't been paying attention to just how cold it's been. It's three degrees Fahrenheit outside. And... Our prisoner has been sitting in freezing temperatures all this time, and these events have not been doing enough. So what I'm going to do before I even unpause is I'm going to reinstall this here and hopefully save my prisoner. He's already lost a finger to, due to frostbite, so yeah, that's completely my fault. I need to reinforce the heating in here, and well, I could... But we'll leave that as medical for now because we'll need that for the game train. As a matter of fact, we also, before we even unpause, need to extend the stockpile a little bit. And I want to move these two there, but I'm mostly, uh, Tim, you can prioritize hauling that because this is going to be a medical room, at least for the time being. Okay, let's unpause. And uh, the plan for the day is to get the visitor center fully operational. We're close to it. We still need to get some trees. We also need to get some general supplies, some steel, a lot of components. So we have, let's actually clear out mining orders and we'll, yes, I realize I'm going at normal speed. As a matter of fact, that was components. So components there, components there. We have steel up there, but that's a long trek. This is probably our best bet right now. Oh, there's a little bit here as well. And some here, some components there. Okay, there we go. And I also noticed that our main storage area is slightly too small to, to get the full orbital trade beacon, but I think it's gonna be fine just as it is. We are up to full power on the batteries, which is excellent. So let's just go ahead and speed up. What I'm looking for is to get this re uh, this heater resituated soon. And also, oh, before we get really too far along in things, we also need to look at our mining. We have Haywood Floyd that is primary miner after construction. Then let's see, well, uh, this is sorted by skill level. Supe is also high ranking miner, but unfortunately that's uh, behind research. We don't really have anything that, every, we have several people that are good at mining, but not amazing. Andrew Mason, construction, repair, oh, bump mining up. What is he doing right now? He is praying. So yeah. And also, I uh, want to go and start re-sorting uh, the armory as well. Especially since we have... Okay, Andrew Mason is, re is moving that. Temperature is up, which means that he is no longer going to die of hypothermia. We still lost a finger, though. We... Our, we haven't even been trying to recruit him. How long has he been sitting there? Obviously, it couldn't have been that long, could it? I think this is one of our more recent ones. So, yeah. But he is... Oh, we're trying to get a recruitment now. Yeah, see, we just gave you a heater. Don't you like us? Uh, 3.3% chance. It's all things considered not bad, you know, considering he just lost a finger and has been freezing to death. Quite literally. Okay, so what I need is 
Uh, Andrew Mason is busy with hauling. Uh, well, constructing. You know, I'm going to move him down in the pecking order for construction, at least for the time being. Because I want some mining done. I, well, I don't want some mining done. I need some mining done. And I want you to focus on compacted machinery. And I'm just going to make sure you do that. Cargo pods. Excellent. Meaty. Well, we, we actually need to get some meat going because we don't have a lot of food in stockpile. Oh, and something else before I forget about it is that... Yeah, I was tipped off. Well, I wasn't tipped off. I was reading about what uh, causes the infestation. And it is being in the dark. So we're going to put down a couple of lights. We'll put one right there. And we'll... No, we won't put one right there. We need to get it where it will actually connect. So, yeah, yeah, a little out of range for everything. So we'll just, uh, we'll run a little bit of power cable. We'll put it there and there. That's 30 steel. That's not too bad. And we'll... And a little bit of power line into here. We'll just make sure that connects. And I realize this is also uh, breaking my rule of trying to have it where the well, it, well, the freezers are the big uh, fire source where I've had uh, I've lost a freezer full of food because. I've had raiders come and beat up the freezers and then uh, <laughs> just skedaddle. So let me make sure this is normal priority. Okay. They're storing excess up there, so that's fine. Or that's uh, full, so this is excess, I should say. I'm just making sure that the... Oh, no, it's not connecting. It's needs two more over. And then we'll just run it all the way through. Hopefully, I'm not going to be paying for that. And Andrew Mason is digging away. Okay. Next up on the agenda is the game train. He lost an arm last time around, so we are going to be installing that steel arm. It's not ideal, but it is better than no arm. Barely. So he's going to go to the medical room. And let's see. Litho is going to the cold snap is over. So that's going to heat things back up. That's already 60 in here. Yeah, it was just that one heater just couldn't keep up with everything. And I need to finish the other dormitory. I'll reinstall the heater there. I need to finish this dormitory so I can do some more centralized heating. And also... Next on the agenda is doing a proper sick bay. Most likely up in here somewhere. That's gold, okay. Let's see, Andrew Mason is digging at limestone. Yeah, that's fine for now. Let's just go ahead and accelerate. Actually, we need to wake Litho up because we need to get, get the game train up and uh, running. So, medicine? 
Please don't fuck this up. Uh, and you are my best uh, doctor, right? Yeah, Dr. Litho. And then we also need to figure out what we want to do with Supe. Because Supe uh, during combat is kind of, uh, well, to put a blunt, worthless. Because he can't fight. Really? Holy shit! Litho? Um. Okay, you're tending to him. Wow! Okay. I understand the cut on the uh, torso, but how far down are you cutting to get to his kidney? Oh, well, fuck. That means we need to build another arm, it seems, because it looks like he destroyed the arm as well. Great. Okay, that would be um, this craft a steel arm. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, meat came right to us. Yeah. Actually, I should probably get Litho as well. So we have two people here. Reload. And reload. Just in case this goes poorly. Fire. And fire. Okay, well... Oh, that is just downed. How badly did I hurt? <laughs> that should... Wow, shot him in the kidney? Uh, shot him in the spine. Wow. Uh, I'll just go ahead and have you guys reload first. Then go uh, beat it to death. Yeah, oh, the hops are being stored outside. That is not good. Granted, the hops are frozen right now just because it's so damn cold out. But I want those stored in the freezer. So hops are turned on there and disabled there. Yeah, screw it. I wonder if he's getting a shooting skill for this. Oh, he is. Oh, there we go. So let's see. Visitor Center is pretty much up and running. I mean, I got a few beds. That needs to be uh, finished off, but yeah. Granted, we only got the one tribe that would really be uh, interested in visiting us right now, but yeah. Okay. The game train is still recovering. Oh, speaking of the game train, he just finished uh, becoming uh, incapable of walking. So let's see, plant cutting. What's our plant cutting? Uh, Litho would be on plant cutting duty. So I want some mass uh, wood cutting here, some here, while we build a new arm. Kibble are we lacking? Oh, we have uh, do uh, so many times. Okay, let's set do uh, until and make this a more stable source of uh, dog food. Well, in this case, boomerang food. Let's keep 300 on uh, hand and 
start the process again if we fall below 130. Yeah, Tim's gonna make it. Oh, no, he's making food. Okay, so. Andrew Mason should be mining away, and he is, but not precisely where I want him to. We're gonna mine there. What is the dog doing? Oh, it's getting steel from uh, way off. That's good. I love huskies. Okay, that's not where I wanted you to mine. And not even what's the high priority for you to mine, but fine. And be that way. It's a wall right here. There should be a small little rim in here. Okay, the game train is up and running again. Oh. We got a trader inbound. Excellent. Reddit, I don't have a lot to trade right now, but yeah. This is going to be a long winter, actually. We need to do some mass killing, I think. Oh, Supe has a shield. Yeah. That offers an interesting possibility. What is Katie doing? Oh, Katie's hauling silver. Okay. Got a little bit of steel over here, and we also have the AI Persona core, which will be handy later on. Matter of fact... And make sure, yeah, that can be held there. Okay, oh, there's the traders. Yeah, actually looking for food. But in the meantime, I am going to take Tim out. No, I shouldn't take Tim out. Who do I have that is in need of working on on? Okay, the game train. We, we, we need to sit down and do the armory. We'll, we'll get the trader done. Do the arm. Uh, uh, swap around weapons. And then go hunting. Aha! And we have a new recruit as well to work on. Unfortunately, you did lose that finger. Uh, I am going to remove that prisoner room for now. We need to set up a proper sick bay, and we also need to set up a proper prisoner room. I'm thinking prisoner room will be down here, perhaps, and dig it out. Particularly since we need to... Oh, we got steel in the base that we should have been digging. No, no, don't get uh, distracted. First things first. Tim, I'm sorry, but... You got things to do first. Okay. They are buying FSX. No thank you. I'm keeping that. Well, we only had a component. What am I? I'm not selling that boom rat. They have wild turkey. Or a wild turkey. They have a lynx. They have snow hares. That's interesting. Snow hares would breed like, uh, well, fucking crazy. They're, they're rabbits after all. Actually, don't have a lot. See, they have husky meat, a lot of it. That would take most of my money, though. They have boom rat meat. Hmm. Tempted to get a few rabbits. 
unfortunately, uh, I would be putting them, putting them with the boom rat. So if something happens to that boom rat, there goes my entire food stock. And I don't imagine rabbits would uh, offer a lot of meat. How long do they... Okay, life expectancy 8. Do they have a rating from their uh, how quickly they mature? Train them on intelligence. Yeah, I don't see anything about how quickly they mature, but if they have a life expectancy of uh, 8, they have to mature fairly quickly. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to mess with the rabbits. They have a little bit of... Well, they have a fair amount of chocolate. I can always sell off the insect meat that I'm using mostly for kibble for uh, edible meat. Oh, yeah, 129 silver. Hmm. I also could sell off some of my FSX. I have a large amount and I also have a dribble of... Uh, A, a slow a trickle income of it now from the boom rent. So I'll sell 20 of that just to get some more for, uh, food going. Yes, it's sad that I have to sell off some of my precious FSX, but yeah. No, no, no. That, that, cancel this. Well, we're in a situation where we have a huge muffalo herd and a huge uh, ram herd uh, on the map still along with a secondary small uh, muffalo herd we are okay on food we just need to go hunting and actually recover some of this shit as well okay speaking of shit she or shy we need to rename you you are let me look on my list here Okay, Andrew Mason was my last one, so you will be... Oh, this is probably a name that's not going to fit. And having to move around stuff so I can actually see this, because... Yeah. Oh, Indominal Fox fits, okay. Barely, I might add. So, yeah, that is someone that actually wanted to be part of this. You are confident in your rim welder. You're an excellent shot. You're going to be getting my uh, sniper rifle. You're not great for anything else, though. So you're going to be primary hauling, I think. Bed rest. You're not a good doctor. Flicking is important. Negotiate you're incapable of. Handle, you know, you could handle if need be. I turn off hunting uh, and I do that manually. Construction. Last priority. Repair work important. Growing, you can't really do that well. Mining before construction. Plant cutting. You are a decent. Oh, no. Well, decent ish. But I'd much rather have you haul and clean at this point. I'll just turn off research altogether. Supe has been my research bitch for a good reason. Let's see. Can't ain't do art at all. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Tim's like my main guy right now for a lot of my crafting abilities. Which, speaking of which, has he built a new arm yet? I don't think he has. Probably to have the stuff for it. For our 75... No, we should have the stuff for it. So. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our stuff here. We have the SMG. I want that to go to... Uh, let's get that to... Uh, let's... I want the Indominal Fox to have the sniper. The SMG. Uh, to the game train. Even though he's going to be a... A lot less uh, accurate now. He is still my best shot. Sad as that is. 
He's a 14 compared to Andrew Mason, who is an 11. Oh, we also need copy paste. So, Supe, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make him a combat medic. He, his medical skill is non-existent, but if he's carrying some medicine, I could always have him drop it for a real doctor. And since he's using a combat shield, uh, he can grab somebody under fire. So, a uh, new loadout, medic. And can I make him carry some medicine? It looks like I should be able to. It's just, you know, let's see. I want you to carry two meds on you at all times. Granted, I don't have the meds right now. And I'm not going to have you carrying out herbal med. Well, no, I should probably have you come around herbal medicine. Because your medical skill is non-existent. The, the, this is more just to either help out uh, real doctors or to just get someone to stop bleeding so they don't bleed to death before uh, they, you know, uh, would be able to get other doctors to uh, look at them. So, and that is going to be soup based job, at least for now. And let's see. Haywood is still rocking a pistol. I want to fix that. What do I have? Weapon rocks. Not a lot, actually. Well, I have the rimfire pistol, which is not much better. Yeah, we're actually lacking weapons. So we need to really focus on getting the stuff to make, uh, well, assault rifles, really, and start phasing those in. So, let's see. Two of those. We tried this before, but we just didn't have the stuff. But now we're actively hunting it down, so we should be a bit better now. The game trains hauling stuff, which thankfully, uh, you know, being, um, being unable to clap is not a huge drawback for. And do I really need to move anyone else off stuff? I don't think so for the time being. Okay, Supe has his medicine. Granted, uh, that is going to eventually rot because he's carrying it around. Ah. Our freezers lit up and hopefully that will prevent trouble there we're gonna have to do the same up here as well and we don't have any wood in the stockpile and we are low food so hunting tomorrow ooh <laughs> okay, well, this is an interesting opportunity. A ranch owner named, uh, well, Gizmo, uh, calls from nearby, and he's being chased by pirates from the Sharkmen, which we've dealt with before. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. He's 70 years old, though, so he is in risk of just keeling over from just about anything. So we would have to fight them if we accept, and he's also Tim Neal's father. I wonder if this is going to piss him off if we ignore him because, you know, 70 year old, um, is just no. Okay, so is that going to piss off Tim? No, it doesn't. Because he doesn't need to know. Okay, shield user has a, a weapon, a ranged weapon that, that's the abdominal fox. Uh, he's hauling some wood to a stockpile.
Okay, first of all, we need to get you to drop that shield. And second of all, we need you to haul that shield to somewhere safe. Okay, what is Andrew Mason still asleep? How is our boom rat doing? And it's just about time to wrap things up anyway. Boom rat's doing fine. This is still outdoors, isn't it? Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm pretty sure I did this. Yeah, I got a roof zone here. So it's just the fact that our constructors are falling behind on our construction work. Which means we need to dive into the dwarf therapist mode. So let's see, who is our primary constructor? That would be Andrew Mason. I'm going to make it so that he'll go after uh, roofs that need to uh, be constructed. Then we'll have him go mining. So build roofs one. Oh, and should probably close that mode so I don't have an aneurysm next time I load it up. Oh, and we have visitors. This is slowly getting built. Got the tray caravan's leaving. So yeah, it's time to wrap things up. Fairly uneventful. Oh, and uh, at the start of the next episode, we'll do some mass hunting and uh, try to get our food situation in uh, check because we are a little low. So, as always, feedback is appreciated, either through the comments below, or if you don't really have anything in particular to say, but want to let me know that you've enjoyed this anyway, hit either the like or even the dislike buttons, because that does help, and subscribe if you want to see more of RimWorld or my other content as I do a little bit of weeding in the kill zone. And, well, that's uh, it for the day. Uh, thank you for watching, and... We'll be playing around in hoo-ha some more next time, but until then, I'll see ya.